Well, hello, and good evening to you. I must apologize to all my viewers and all my subscribers and everyone else who watched this video. I am sorry I'm leaving out so late. I have had a very, very busy Friday. As you can probably tell by my face, and my hair is sort of messed up. I'm sort of pretty tired. But i got to get this information out to you because it's important that I do so. So let's see here. We have leader of the Democrat. Sorry. Leader of the Democrats in the Senate, Chuck Schumer. And Senator, Eliz Senator Elizabeth Warren introduced a plan that would basically cancel 50%, sorry, $50,000 of student loan debt for every borrower. So basically, every borrower out there would be able to cancel at least $50,000 of their debt. There is more to this, but I still have to do my whole other thing here first. So I'll get, I'll get to the inf information on the student loan here in a bit. For the stimulus package, the um, update, the basic current offer on the table is $1.5 trillion. And basically, you'd receive a second and a third stimulus check if because this, this $1.5 trillion stimulus package is still on the table. Basically, has an automatic booster that will, an automatic trigger, should I say, that will kick in if the COVID-19 gets worse. I'll get in, into that a bit, a bit more, too. Um, there'll also be enhanced unemployment, more PPP money, and Nancy Pelosi can't, basically Nancy Pelosi cannot accept or deny this offer. If she accepts it, all the Americans will get a second stimulus check, and there'll be a lot of other additional things. The, the post office is a hot topic, and surveys show that 33% of Americans will be doing mail-in ballots. And, it, and the United, in the United States, the COVID-19 numbers are rising. They, they've gone up in 30 states. They are holding steady in 16 of those, in 16 different states. And then they have basically been declining in four states. And this is based off a weekly data from John Hopkins University. And hi, I am Russ, and thank you for joining the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 18th, 2020. The current stimulus offer on the table is worth $1.5 trillion and has an automatic trigger in it. And the trigger will boost the $1.5 trillion package up by half, half a billion dollars to $2 trillion. And it would include a second stimulus check for the people. It include more paycheck protection money for small businesses and self-employed. It include more enhanced unemployment, which I covered in an earlier video. And let's see here. And basically, Nancy Pelosi she could reject the offer and fight for the whole package, the two point two trillion dollar package that she's trying to shoot for. And by Donald Trump tweeting earlier this week that Republicans go for higher numbers. So it added a bit of fuel to Nancy Pelosi's flame, so I'm, she might fight for the two point two trillion. And the difference, the difference between the, the one point five trillion dollar package and the two point two trillion dollar package is basically assistance for uh, local and state governments, which happens to be five hundred billion dollars of the one point five trillion dollar package is actually going to state and local governments. That's part of the deal. That's part of the number five trillion dollar package. Let's see here. The good thing about the one the one point five trillion dollar stimulus package is the simple fact that we would get a check fast, hopefully, and if the automatic trigger causes kicks in effect, where basically COVID nineteen hospitalizations and other COVID-19 related uh, fatalities ha keep rising up, that would get a third stimulus check in March of 2021. I got a lot to talk to you guys about today, don't I? <laughs> I'm, I'm slick I am. I do apologize that it, it is so late. A lot of the Democrats say that the, the offer that's on the table right now by the, the Senate, the $1.5 trillion package, is actually very acceptable. And that uh, 
there's also been a lot of people asking, talking about the censor workers and when they're going to get their cut. And basically, the Democrats are saying that, well, they've waited this long, they can wait a little bit longer. This is something I'm not really too happy to hear about, but if the people get helped, that's what, come, that's what matters to me. So I guess I can, I can wait because I'm a central worker, so I can wait for whatever they decide to throw out my way. So hopefully something good. But until then, the people come first. The, um, and it's, most of the Democrats also sort of support the uh, Nancy Pelosi strategy for holding out for the $2.2 trillion dollars. And the good news is that the White House negotiation team is open to bigger numbers. They want more. They want more money, more money, more money. And then Chief of Staff of uh, the White House, Mark Meadows, said that one point point five trillion dollars is a good foundation and starting point for the new stimulus package negotiations. So they're talking about stimulus package negotiations here. And on on the new plan that was introduced by. I told you about Elizabeth was it Chuck Schumer and um, yeah Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren um, that was introduced yesterday that would cancel up to fifty thousand dollars of all borrower student loan debt for t in 2021 this plan is coming from the Senate and Congress would not even would not even need to vote on this package to make it to make it into law all they really need is the presidential to make it a uh, executive order, but it can't come into effect until the next president gets into put into office. So basically, if we get Trump or we get Biden, they have to make decision when they get put back into office. And the cancellation of these student loans can be done with, like I said, they've been done with executive order. President Trump insists that mail in votings would basically be. <laughs> An advantage to the Democrats. He, he that's why he, he's digging on the Democrats, saying that the mail-in voting would be an advantage to them. When, as we've seen, they've had, I think they have have removed over a hundred or two hundred mail sorting machines. Their mail trucks are exploding. I've seen that on the news. I was like surprised to see that. That surprised me. And they showed some woman sh shooting it with her phone cam, and the fire truck, not the fire truck, sorry, the, the mail truck was basically on fire she says she was sitting in her room and next thing you know she heard a big explosion it scared the crap out of her she jumped up and she looked out the window and she saw the mail truck on fire so she decided to videotape it i was surprised so the post office is having a lot of problems lately but hopefully that can be fixed we'll find out if because they said in this new package the 1.5 trillion dollar package there's also 10 billion dollars or is it fifteen billion dollars? It's one or two for the post office to help them out. I don't know exactly the exact stipulations of said money for the post office, but I do know it's in there. And before I continue to rant and rave because I'm sort of tired as you tell me see going on, <clears throat> I think I will say to you guys, you have a magnificent night's rest. Please stay safe out there. And stay sheltered and stay out of the elements because it is getting colder and we all in this together. We got to stay alive. That's what it's all about. So until next time, have a magnificent evening.